Hello, my name is Zhang Hui. I'm professor of Wuhan University School of Law and the Institute of International Law. I'm very happy to see about my article published at the Journal of East Asia and International Law. My paper deals with the new global agreement on the Doha Climate Gateway from Chinese perspective. As the largest developing country, China always insists on the common but differentiated responsibility principle. And as the largest emitter of greenhouse gas in the world, China is also under very heavy national and international pressure to reduce its greenhouse gas emission. In recent years, some Chinese scholars rethink about the principles of UNFCCC. For example, some Chinese scholars pointed out the issue of efficiency should be given more attention in the course of achieving global reduction target and the international community should coordinate efficiency and equity. As to the CBDR principle, some Chinese scholars began to emphasize the importance of, um, of common responsibility. They argued that the common is the character, dominant character, of the responsibility, while the differentiated is just supplementary. So differentiated responsibility is not the exemption of the responsibility. For Chinese government in Durban conference, China ex expressed its willingness to accept a quantified reduction obligation. Generally, China decided to change its role in addressing climate change. At the end of the paper, I gave some suggestions for China's response to the coming climate change negotiations. By the way, there's the APEC conference in Beijing 2014. China and the United States published a joint Declaration on Climate Change. Um, it was seen as a major breakthrough on the way to the new global agreement. But later, the Lima Conference told us there were still, um, still many difficulties on this issue. Thank you.